what's going on? Today we're doing Apocalypse. Apocalypse is a Linux machine or a retired <coughs> Linux machine from Actobox. As you can see, most of the ratings lie in the easy to medium in the difficulty. So uh, as, as well as it is considered as an OSCB machine or offensive security training machine. So you can take this machine as um, a training material if you're preparing for the offensive security professional pathway. Okay, so let's get started. Before we get started, what to expect from this machine? Um, the machine is a typical machine where you will go through the typical enumeration phases, scan the target, identify directories, the web server. It is a WordPress. In the WordPress, you will identify plugins, themes, and you will find the username and password by brute forcing them, of course. Right after that, you will exploit WordPress. By exploiting WordPress, you will get the first foothold with a low privileged shell. After that, you go through typical uh, steps performed in the privilege escalation phase, where you will find that there is an ETC password file writable and um, can be modified by any user. You will take advantage of that, create a user, and become the root on the system. Simple as that. Okay. Let's get started. So as you can see, I have scanned the machine. I have two open ports, SSH. We will use that later to log in. And we have Apache Web Server running on port 80. Uh, and there is the title is Apocalypse Penetration Testing Blog. OK, so before doing anything on the machine, just add the IP address, the host file, and name it apocalypse.htp. OK. So we have already done that. Let's now jump to Firefox. All right. So go to Apple. HTTP. <laughs> All right, as you can see, it's typical apocalypse blog where you can see this is the background, and um, we go down, explore more about the blog. You can see. We have one blog. How long do we have? And OK, so how do you know that this is a WordPress? So if you go down, as you can see, it's saying proudly powered by WordPress, which is one of the places to look for uh, if you want to find out the engine running the website. Look at the footer. Sometimes the signature is left down here. So from that, we take it as a hint, and we go back and scan it. sudo wb scan dash dash. OK, we have it ready. Let's change only the addresses. In here, we're going to choose another option, which is enumerating the users, plugins, and themes, dash dash enumerate. Themes, plugins, users. Sometimes we have to look through these entries to find out if the um, you know there is a vulnerable element. But in this case, we're gonna just take take it as that there is a username called Fileraki. Fileraki is a username which we will use to brute force the password. But before put forcing the password, we have to define the word list, which word list we can use. And we have the option to use rakio.txt. But in this scenario, and since this is a typical CTF, yeah, OSCP style CTF, I know, uh, we will have to find another word list. And the other word list is found by just brute forcing, uh, sorry, by just enumerating the directories on the web server or in the WordPress. We will find that there is a secret directory from that directory, we will just extract um, a list of words hidden by 
or hidden using a steganography technique. So let's do, uh, let's go back. So the word list, how do we compose the word list? We said that we will brute force the directories, but brute forcing the directories will be a waste of time in this scenario if you don't have the right word list for brute forcing the directories. So in the case of this scenario, we will form and mold the word list of brute forcing the directories starting from the web page itself. We will take the words. So how what do I mean by that? We will use sure the CD to the machine. Okay, so sudo. You know it's a tool for um, you know extracting words from our page and putting all of these words in one word list. So just we have to define the URL. In this case, it is apocalypse. And define the result word list. We can name it apocalypse. And run. So the word list has finished. Let's discover the word list. Cat apocalypse. See, we have somewhat long word list. We're going to use that to find the right directory. So sudo the uh, go buster jr dash u http. Dash w. The word list is um, a book list. Let's see here. You see, all of the directories are returning the same code. So we have to just use another option to make a difference between them. So we're going to use the option dash L to display the length. So we have contemporary 321, Garcia 320, 322 glorification, 322 righteousness. So we can try all of these four. Let's start with the first one, which is contemporary. And we have one hit, as you can see, it's a picture. Let's try the Garcia. Also the same pick. 322 glorification. Okay, fine. So most of them, they return the same image, which means we will have to save it. So let's save the image. Um, okay, so once, since we have an image, our options are very clear here. We'll have to see if the image has hidden information, text, audio files, PDF files, documents, strings, whatsoever, which means there's a technique implemented called steganography. So how do you find out this? We have to use a tool called stake hide. So stake hide dash dash info and the image name. Let's first list the current files. So it's image.jpg sudo fake 
slides, image. Dash dash info. Okay. Use the dash dash info switch to display information about the image. Try to get information about embedded data. Yes. Interpass phrase. Stick height could not extract any data with that pass phrase. Let's try one more time. Yes. Pass phrase. Let's enter empty space or with no empty space, only blank, no password. You don't extract... Huh. What kind of password I have to provide? We just leave it a blank. Yes. Okay, let me try to extract the details directly without displaying the info. Stick hide. Extract or dash dash extract. Dash save image. So we are, or oh, we downloaded the wrong image, I guess. Okay, let's see another directory. So maybe they are maybe they are the same images, right? But with different file names. So you don't know what is the right file that you have just downloaded. The only way you know is by trying different the different directories we have just found out. So we go to let's see here, 15, 22. We tried glorification. Let's try righteousness. Maybe this one holds the answer. Save. Let's name it image two. And get back here. Info on image two. Yes. Okay, so this one worked. So basically, as I said earlier, different directories return visually the same image, but um, the content is different. That's why. The blank password didn't work on the glorification directory, but worked on the righteousness. So, as you can see, the message or the output is saying that we have an embedded file called list. So, we have to extract it by using the dash dash extract option, dash sf, and the file name. The file name in this case is image2. Password is blank. Wrote extracted data to list. Get list. So we have a list now. Now we can go back to WB scan and use that list to crack the password of the user we have previously found, which was, which was, Alaraki, I guess. Okay, so sudo WB scan. So here dash dash username, Alaraki, dash dash word list, list. Let's see here. Did you mean usernames? No, I meant that's the username, that's the word list. That's the shoe. Okay. We use the one dash options, so dash u as the URL and username dash dash username. 
still not working. Usernames. Dash dash word list. I think there is something changed on the word list. Can dash dash itch. Use the help menu to see what has changed. So dash p for a file. Okay. And for one username, we have to provide only one u, I guess. Let's go up, see. Enumerate. Okay. So in this case, instead of dash dash word list, we provide dash p and here dash. Okay, leave it as it is. Let's see. All right. Okay, we have one successful attempt. So as you can see here, username is Falaraki and the password is trans some word, I don't know. Okay, so let's log in. There will be admin. Let's copy the password. The username is Falaraki. And we are logged in. So here comes the WordPress exploitation part. Now, when it comes to exploiting WordPress, we have said earlier many times that we can upload your own malicious plugin, or you can just edit on the existing plugins or the existing themes. So in this scenario, we're gonna edit on an existing theme file called the editor. And in the editor, we can just change one of the templates. In this case, I'm gonna change the 404, my preferred file. Here we remove this file and we provide our own code. So let's generate MSF Venom. And of course, don't forget to put your IP. Big. Uh, KPHP interpreter reverse TCP. Uh, since this is an OCP challenge, um, we can just use different option. Um, okay, so, so in this case, I'm not going to use SFM. I'm going to use PHP reverse job from Pentest Monkey. And ours to open. Okay. Pentest monkey PHP reverse. Let's open up a listener. RL wrap and see that LPP four five four five. So, just paste the code here and don't forget to change on the parameters. 
the first parameter to change is your IP address. The second parameter to change is your port number, port of the file. And lastly is don't forget to upload, don't forget to update the file. Okay. So the theme name is 2017, highlight this. Copy and browse the file to the URL, the shell, the pro. There will be content, themes, paste in the theme name and the file name. The file name is 404.php to trigger the reverse shell. And we have received the first reverse shell. So ID, we are .data, PWZ, we are in the web server directory, ls, no, not the web server directory. So we have here many directories. Um, let's see here, cd home. cd Floraki. cat user. And this is the user flag. ls la. And we have here secret directory cd.secret. Oh, cat. Okay, this is the file. So we have page 64 string. Simply decoding this. Doesn't take ages, so echo base 64-t. Keep forgetting password, so this will keep it safe. So this is another password. It seems that we have or we can use this to log into the SSH server. So sudo so sage. Laraki at yes. password so we are now in Iraqi so we have upgraded our privileges from the web server user to Federaki ID we can confirm this by just displaying the information about the user okay now the next step is to up Upgrade from Fedoraki to root. So one way there are many ways to do this, right? Many ways. You can just drop an automatic a script. An example is Linux piece or Limpies, the message to find out the vectors you can rely on to escalate the privileges. But long story short, it is the etc password. So if we type that ls dash la etc and grab password file to examine the permissions let's add a new user now to this list and from that user we can we can either add a root user guys or we add a simple user and we escalate from that user. Our preferred way is to add a root user or add a user and make it root. So we type sudo open SSL or on my machine, switch to my machine. Pass wt dash l dash salt. Type your preferred user. My preferred user is my name, of course, and the password, pass1234. Uh, 
option unknown dash L dash one. Ah, okay. So dash one salt. So this is the salt, the username, and the password hash. Now all we have to do is to add it to the file. Issues, issues. All right. Let's see here. So there's a name. Is my name. And then we follow it with the salt and the password hash. So we copy all of that. And then type zero UID, zero for the GID, and then we type root. Um, yes, then the root directory as the home directory for the new user, semicolon, or then bin bash. etc pass wd. So cat etc pass wd. As you can see, the user has been added. Let's escalate now. So MOT and the password is pass one two three four pass one two three four hmm seems like we have a problem yes this one let's see if I can add on the password file so I'm going to remove this. This entry needs to be modified, so I'm going to have to modify this. And paste in the correct entry. So this way, it is correct. Save. So I will see ASEN. Pass one, two, three, four. And we are the root files and we are the root user. So basically, cd root ls cat root. And this is the root flag. So that's it. Very easy challenge, easy. And at the same time, it's kind of uh, similar to realistic scenarios where you will see misconfigurations or uh, permissions misconfigured on the files. Uh, taking advantage of these uh, misconfigurations are very common in real case scenarios. So hope you like it. See you in the next video.